everybody and welcome back um, got a journal to share with you guys today this is a um, overdue uh, design team project for Tracy who is love junk journals on Etsy if you're not familiar with her I think most people are <laughs> um, I've been designing for Tracy for a little while now and um, she's come out with a new kit called the notebook and it is gorgeous absolutely gorgeous so that's what I featured in this journal so let's get started with a little flip through. <clears throat> I don't know how many pages. This is a two signature and it's about four and a half by about six and a half. Um, the lace, you know, makes it look a little bit larger, but uh, the pages are about four and a quarter by six and a quarter, I believe. Uh, I told you guys I've been taking some courses, so this is uh, what's influenced um, a lot of inspiration behind this. Um, gosh, I, I really don't like to name a lot of artists purely because I, I don't want to offend anybody. And I mean, I've got inspiration from so many people over the years. Um, but one that does come to mind, she's phenomenal, is um, Shabby Soul um, here on YouTube. And she's got an Etsy shop. Uh, she's just fantastic. Um, Susie's work is incredible. And I hope one day <laughs> I'm fortunate enough to own one of her journals. But uh, I don't know. You have to be quite quick. <laughs> but having said that, um, I've, just, I've studied a lot of... Uh, you know the courses I've taken and then uh, you know a lot of artists that uh, appeal to me and I came up with this so it's just there's so much going on with it I, I don't <laughs> know where to begin really the base of the cover is cardboard believe it or not it's an old uh, box that I've taken apart <clears throat> but Upon that, you know, I've got burlap, um, the digitals, just so much lace and things going on. And then here I've attached a little metal piece because I felt like it needed something. Um, this is an old vintage button here. And then lots of little layering. And then the closure is just some muslin that I've done some stitching on. And this is a side look. Um... And then this is the back of the cover, and this, again, is another image from uh, the notebook kit. It, it's beautiful. I, I love it. Very soft colors, uh, nature-themed, and you know that suits me. So let's get started. The spine is about an inch spine, a one-inch spine, so. And then inside, uh, you've got some more fabric, and then I've made this pocket here and I've just layered um, I picked these up at a thrift shop gosh probably close on a year back it was right after I came back and I've just had them tucked away they were they were napkins but the the embroidery work was just so beautiful I thought oh I've got to have them so I think I got six of them for just next to nothing so I, I grabbed those up and I've been little by little incorporating them into my journals. Um, this is some sari ribbon and that coordinated nicely so I've added that and then just a little snippet cluster here. Just a little altered tag that I've made and again <clears throat> most of the images are from Tracy's notebook kit but there are some of uh, um, Tracy's other kits within this. Um, this for example the little tiny circles you will use those so many times. Um, I I just love them. I, I hope she will make some more with some other little um, images within it because they're just the perfect. They're, uh, the one inch circle punch works beautifully with those. And then there are um, bits and pieces from other designers, but I won't name those um, because like I said, this is a design team project. So uh, the focus is Tracy's uh, notebook kit so okay so on this um, let's see I've uh, got some lined paper this is all a these are tea dyed 
uh, with the Rubius tea, and they, they this bunch came out beautiful. I told you it's hit or miss on that. I don't know why if I'm something's changed because every time I used to do those, um, they came out a really rich color. But anyways, sorry, I'm digressing again. <laughs> Here I've just um, taken a stapler and just made a little tuck spot there. And this is just a tiny altered uh, Rolodex mini card. So you can do some journaling on the back of that. And that's tucked up there. I've done stenciling throughout, sewing. I've recycled old mailers um, from, you know, that you get in the mail. And then this is just a tag that I've backed with some that's tea dyed paper. And just another little journal card there. Um, this is one of the Sizzix dies. Um, if you're interested, I've got a link in my Amazon shop. Um, if you're interested in those, they are beautiful. And then another little snippet there. I just love these pages. I, I think this is a beautiful kit to work with. Here I've added some fabric uh, ribbon. Mm, I can't remember. I bought that sometime back, and uh, I love that. It, the black against that really pops, I think. Here we've got another little pocket with some collaging, and then just extra little journal places. There's a lot of space for you to write in this, and I love the size. You know, I love the little compact uh, journals old vintage um, pages and I you know made sure that everything coordinated with the nature theme so another old book page <clears throat> another the pages from the kit more stenciling and then this is some of the um, Liberty fabric I told you I had a, a small stash a stash of this so I've made some ruffles there and ah it just I love that material so much um, here I've got a little bulb pin with a couple of glass beads and again this is one of Tracy's little tiny embellishments um, love those love 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 them so here I've made a pocket with some <clears throat> I had some old you know the 9 by 12 um, craft Envelopes. Well, these ones I had purchased were a little bit too thin to use for journal covers, so I thought, well, I've got to make use of them, you know. So I just doubled this up and made a, a little pocket, and I love how that's come out. So inside, I've got some more of the uh, journal cards, and um, this little envelope is part of the notebook <clears throat> add on. I have taken everything in. in um, the kit I printed out two per page and the same with the embellishments so that you'd end up with these little tiny <coughs> envelopes which I just adore and this is from one of uh, Tracy's other kits um, this one's been out for quite some time so but I still I love to use those and isn't that cute it's got all the little um, you know typed date collected location notes. I just think they're so sweet. I just I love the tiny <laughs> journals so much. I just can't tell you. Uh, they just make me happy. And of course that's a Tim Holtz, one of the little tiny um, paper clips. So here I just made a little tuck spot and uh, this is part of the kit as well as, as, well as these um, the tags. And again I just did two to get this size, I did two per page when I printed them. So over here, I've just got uh, a little fold out here, and this is some old notebook paper, and I just backed it to the, um, you know, the craft shipping paper that you get on the roll. That's um, just to have, I, I think that goes really nice with nature, that to have some of the craft paper. So here we got the center of the signature. This has all been sewn in with a five-hole uh, pamphlet stitch. And uh, I love that page. So a lot of writing, um, altered, you know, one of the old um, ledger papers. 
And this is from another of Tracy's kits. I had that left over from a, a journal, so I've tucked that in there. And then this, again, these tiny little tags Tracy sells in her shop. So I've just put them together on a, a little brad. So you could do some journaling back here. And I thought that was really sweet just to have it kind of holding this uh, other little <coughs> journal tag um, in place. And again, that's a Tracy Digital. Some more stenciling. Um, just added some ribbon up here. This was a boo-boo. <laughs> it was going to be a... Um, a tag that came in and out and it just I cut it too short and so I just thought well I'm just gonna have it as a, a little feature so yeah I'm telling on myself but um, it's still pretty I think it, it came out nice but it was it was intended to be a pocket and I just ended up gluing it down completely so there you go <laughs> these things happen um, here I've got um, this is some of the beautiful lace that was gifted to me by uh, Andrea. So thank you, Andrea. I made a little pocket with that because I thought that went really nice with it. And I've just made a couple of other little journal cards from scraps that I had and then um, some of the things that she includes in the kit. And there's a bit more of that Liberty fabric. Love that page. It's beautiful bit more stenciling and then this um, I made a pocket out of that tag and then these uh, Tracy sells those in her shop as well I think they're called woodland tea cards if I'm not mistaken and again another Tracy digital so it it's primarily everything is from Tracy just a few pieces from other um, this is a upcycled or re yeah Recycled, I guess this, yeah, recycled and upcycled uh, mailer. And then I just made another um, journal card here. Did some stamping on that. I like how that looks in the, you know, I love my window envelopes. It just tucks down in there, peeks through. And then with this tag, I had made it so that it would. Um, hang over the edge and then I've added the botanical there. And then on the very back page of the first signature, again, this is the Liberty fabric and some old laces and an old button and this is just a fabric tip-in so you can have some writing and keep it private. And then here we're into the second signature. And again, a little tuck spot. And another of the little um, envelopes that Tracy includes. So I've just sized it down. And this is a stamped image that I made. Um, and this has got a little, uh, well, I'll open it. You can see there's just a tiny little journal card I made for this one out of some scrap paper. So there you go. You can do some journaling there. And then I just got another little tiny paper clip to hold that, and that's tucked in there. Some more of the pages from the kit. A bit more of that trim. And then here I've done another pocket, and this is another uh, tea card from Tracy's kit. I believe this was part of the white collection. And then this is just another little journal card that I made with some leftovers. I like how this has come out. It's very rustic. Um, <coughs> but I love the softness of it. I, I just, the color of these papers are just beautiful. A bit more stenciling. And then here I've just made another little cluster and more stenciling and another big journal card here that's been tucked into another um, recycled mailer. Just a, a little image from my stash. Some more of the um, Liberty fabric. And 
and then here is a bit more. Um, that's just gorgeous. That that fabric there isn't that pretty. It's kind of like um oh gosh I forgot what they call that shade of yellow. Oh, brain's just gone blank. I'm so sorry. <laughs> It's early. I haven't had any caffeine yet, which makes me think I better go get a cup. So here I've made another big journal card. And that's tucked in this one. And then I just took a bit of paper and one of Tracy's labels there. And then this is another little flip out I've made. So you've got extra writing space there. And then on this side, I have clipped another um, of the butterfly tea, uh, tea cards from Tracy's shop. Sorry. <laughs> and then the, another altered uh, mini Rolodex. And again, another uh, lace pocket using that beautiful lace that Andrea gifted me. And then another, this is one of the tags from the kit. And this was just an extra bit of uh, scrapbook paper. And I just added some old lace up there. I'm so pleased with how this came out. Um, here I've just made a little journal card here. And I've tucked it under with one of those uh, metal plates. There and then the same on the back. This is from uh, the kit as well. So I tuck that under there. And then this is another of the pages from the kit. And here is some. Um, I've been taking all my off cuts, you know, that I have, and I just make some paper ruffles with those because it's a shame to waste when we've, you know, printed all that with our ink. I just make use of everything. <laughs> and and then sometimes it just gets bigger and bigger and I finally have to just clear out. But I do try to use all my scraps whenever possible. And then the back of this one, I've got another little fabric tip in um, with some more fabric and old button. I just thought it all complemented beautifully. Now on the back, I've made a, um, <clears throat> a big coin envelope pocket. So I did not leave this one open in the back this time um, because it was being glued to fabric. I wanted to make sure that it was um, absolutely secured well. So um, so you've just got the pocket inside. But I love how that looks. I think it complements it beautifully. And I like the back cover as well. I put another one of the images on the back. So there it is. This is Flutter and... I'm going to put the link below to the notebook um, journal kit and add-on, so if you are interested, you can check that out in the description box below. Um, do check out Tracy's shop, because she's got some gorgeous ephemera, and uh, honestly, I, I just can't tell you, her ephemera I have used time and time again. It, it just coordinates so nicely. Um, with everything and she's got some beautiful shabby and uh, vintage kits as well so it's not all nature she's got a real mix but I hope you've enjoyed Flutter and I will be back hopefully very soon I don't know I haven't I've got so many things going but um I don't know what's going to get finished next so you'll just have to stay tuned but uh, I, oh one thing I will be doing guys very soon is um I will do a tutorial on how to make the clutch out of a paper bag. So do stay tuned for that. I will probably get that up fairly soon. So if you're interested in that, do stay tuned. And I'll see you guys uh, very soon. I hope you're all taking, um, you know, keeping well and avoiding. There seems to be some flu and colds and things starting to go around. So I hope everybody's able to stay well and... Uh, uh, let's try to get through this season without catching it. Ooh, I hope I don't. Um, welcome to all my subscribers. I appreciate you guys so much. I don't feel like I 
um, thank you enough for all of you who have chosen to follow me and subscribe to my channel, but I do appreciate it so very much. Um, it just, sometimes I just can't believe how my channel has grown, and I have to thank each and every one of you for that. <clears throat> it means the world to me. Um, I'd love to share, you know, things that I've learned along the way, and if it helps somebody else. I mean, that's what this is about for me, is, is sharing the love of um, crafting and creating. <clears throat> it just... It just is, it's therapy, and I know I'm not the only one that feels that way. Um, so, you know, I hope that, that, that you are getting something from the channel, and um, and yeah, I'll try to do more and, and share as much as I possibly can with you. So, anyways, I'm going to go, guys, and I will be back very soon. You guys take care, and have a great rest of the week. Bye!